Hi, this is Brian Blanchard, VP of Cloud Solutions for 10th Magnitude, and I'm here today to talk about application identity management in the cloud. So we're going to start with a story of three applications. Our first application is a custom application that you've, you've built at home, and it's for your end users or partners or other external parties. So you've created identities and stored them in a SQL Server. This is the default with what you get with MVC, and you want to spin up a basic identity provider. So right next to it is another application. You know, in here, our identities are in SQL. But next to it's another application, and this is for our internal users. And we've got AD like we have for everything else, so wisely your team's taken and made that custom application point to Active Directory for identity management. And next to that, you probably have a number of line of business applications, various different commercial off-the-shelf apps. We'll refer to those as LOB apps. And these applications as well are using Kerberos through Active Directory. So this is a typical application scenario. Well, what we're going to talk about today is how we can change this up and add additional security in the cloud. So if you're using Office 365, what you've already done, whether you know it or not, is you're using another tool called Azure Active Directory, or AAD. Azure Active Directory is similar to an instance of Active Directory running in the cloud. And Neil Sly did a great video on our old Manhattan's project for 10th Magnitude that tells all about this. But basically, with Azure Active Directory, we've got all our identities stored out here. And we simply sync this up through AAD Connect or DurSync or some other tool. When that happens, all of these identities that live inside of AAD, or inside of AD, I'm sorry, also now are replicated out to Azure Active Directory. And you've got the choice of putting your identity and your password out there, or just your identity. And from there, your users can get into O365 and they authenticate against this tool. Well, what's really cool is the Microsoft team saw that and said, we can do more with that. And they exposed a SAML identity provider on this. So if your line of business app uses SAML or uh, uh, basic, simple authentication markup language, they can simply point that line of business app out to Azure Active Directory. What that means is now you can take that application and host it anywhere. It doesn't have to be in your data center anymore. It doesn't have to have physical access to AD. So we can deploy that in one copy to our, our uh, America office and another to our Singapore office. And now they're using the same identities through Azure Active Directory. Well, what Microsoft has done is they've taken that a little bit further. And now we can use what's called Azure AD B2B, or business to business. And we can take custom apps that used to point to, Azure, to Active Directory and point those to Azure Active Directory as well. But with the B2B part, we can do something else really cool. Let's say we have partners that we want to get into that app that aren't in our current Active Directory structure. Well, using Azure Active Directory B2B, we can synchronize those users into Azure AD as well. Now, our customers and our employees, or our partners and our employees, can log in, have the same exact login experience, and get to this custom app. In some cases, we can even get to that line of business application. So now let's take another look at this third app here, our custom app with our, our end users in SQL. Well, that's a major security risk. Oftentimes, those identities aren't encrypted, they're not protected, they're not treated like an identity. So your end users could be hacked if that SQL database is compromised. Very risky scenario. So what we're seeing as a major trend is people are saying, you know what, I don't want the SQL Server containing identities anymore. I want something really secure. Well, we can take and put those same users in their Azure Active Directory. And we can now point our custom apps to that. So we can have one source that gives us the ability to authenticate line of business apps, custom apps, end user applications against our Active Directory or our partners. And again, that partners is Azure Active Directory B2B. But let's say we want to do something a little more. Now that we've got our users in this custom app pointed to Azure Active Directory, we want to expand it and we want to make it to where we can take a Twitter account or a Facebook account or some other login that our users already have and reuse that login. Well, what we can do is take a, um, an IDP or a, a social identity and we can map that into AAD the same way. So now, if someone has a social identity on Facebook or Twitter, we can map that to a user that's stored in Azure Active Directory. And we're not trusting Facebook with all our identities. All we're saying is that Facebook, we trust that the password that you have is a viable password for this identity. We map it to a user we control. And in all of these, we control what users are in there, what access they have, and what applications they can get to. But we have an identity model very similar to Active Directory, which we know and love, that now manages our employees 
our partners and customers, even social identities, and provides access to the appropriate applications. So these are the multiple flavors of Azure AD and how it can help with application identity management in the cloud. Again, this is Brian Blanchard with 10th Magnitude, and thanks for your time.